Thank you very much. Eminent uh, professors, ladies and gentlemen, dear graduates, it's a great honor and pleasure to have the opportunity to speak here at this prestigious and highly respected institution of economic education, the MIP School of Management Trieste. Let me sincerely thank you and in particular the Dean Professor Vladimir Nanut for inviting me to this graduation ceremony. Now my first thoughts today are directed to you, the graduates that achieved a very important milestone in your academic career with the graduation day. Your parents, your families, your friends and other people close to you who supported you to accomplish this development path and to MIP this great school of management that is known for more than 20 years of excellence in postgraduate training. It's high international standing with students from more than 80 countries and its very strong network and highest appreciation in the world of enterprises, in particular in the insurance industry. Congratulations to all of you and I think you deserve an applause. <laughs> Dear graduates, Today is a very special day for you because this graduation, your graduation, is an important crossroad in your life and opens the door to a new world to become a senior professional, an advanced expert, a leader, a scientist. The choice is up to you. With the graduation, you are in the driver's seat to design the next steps of your future career. It's therefore your day. And not only to celebrate this great academic achievement, but at the same time is a decision point of an important dimension. I remember very well my own graduation days from law and business administration as important milestones in my life. On this day, we demonstrate tangibly to the outside world that we are ready to take on a more important professional challenge and to ourselves that we can achieve significant goals in life. But my feeling is that graduates sometimes underestimate the importance of the graduation as a decision point. Today you are not just achieving an important goal, but you have the unique opportunity to shape and to direct your future career path. There are many options for you, and some I've mentioned before. I'm naming them, not just because they exist, but to highlight that you have to take the initiative to choose, to grow, and to succeed. And that latest today is the point in time to get the decisions right. Yes, you can assume that sometimes there are lucky circumstances in life that allow people to achieve certain milestones faster or easier. But in the long term, I can guarantee you, it's only you who must evaluate options, has to decide, and can succeed. It's important for me to share this piece of advice and conclusion with you. In my career, I learned that the formula for future success is simple. If you don't define your targets, and if you don't live up to them clearly, you won't achieve them. To put it in more proactive terms, be determined, define your targets and live up to them tangibly and you will succeed. Let us take a close look now at the outside world in which you will work and I'm sure you will succeed. What does this world look like in terms of market scenarios 
and what will be their impact on insurance. The current scenario is driven by three mega trends that are fundamentally changing the market paradigms and business models. The first more general mega trend is the fast changing customer behavior accelerated by the widespread use of technology worldwide and its incredible speed of growth. Just a few examples. 3.2 billion people have access to internet today. Two years ago, just 2.7 billion. That's a growth of almost 20%. Today, 1.9 billion own a smartphone with a growth of 46% in the last two years. And 1.6 billion people are on Facebook every month, 300 million more than two years ago. As a consequence, a fast growing number of customers lives in an always connected social environment and this changes the way they spot and adapt new trends and how they interact with enterprises demanding an anytime, anywhere access to products and services. The second mega trend, especially in the insurance sector, is the mass customization. This means that customers look for super tailored products since they are not willing to pay anymore for something they don't need. According to Accenture, 80% of the insurance customers worldwide are looking for personalized offers, messages, pricing and recommendations in both life and PNC insurance. The ability to provide a high degree of personalization while maintaining discipline technical wise and a seamless customer experience will be key to succeed in this field. The third mega trend is clearly digitalization that is affecting every industry. 39% of Italians bought something online in the last month, 63% for Germans. Definitely this trend will also impact insurance. Worldwide online sales are foreseen to grow by more than 100% in PNC by 90% in life insurance in the next three to five years according to Bain. In this environment, customers have become transversal clients or some say hybrid clients. They will not be purely traditional clients or purely online clients, they will use these channels selectively or like I say transversely depending on the product they are looking for. Now these megatrends have created a new market characteristics, a digital arena where change occurs with a high speed and organizations have to be prepared to adapt or they will simply die. Just think, since 2000, 52% of the Fortune 500 companies are gone, either as a result of a merger, acquisition, or bankruptcies. And in 10 years, 40% of the Fortune 500 companies currently in the S&P 500 list will disappear from this list. The answer to these megatrends, or better, the formula to become the winner in the digital arena, is to create a customer-centric model building strongly on innovation and digitalization. To be very concrete, I would like to give you some tangible examples of a customer-centric business model and digital assets which we have developed in Allianz Italy that have been highly appreciated by the market and received several awards from recognized institutions like Milano Finanza or Istituto Tedesco Qualità e Finanza. 
Ladies and gentlemen, a customer-centric business model requires multi-channel, multi-access, anytime, anywhere. Allianz Italy has therefore a strong multi-channel footprint where agents are at the center of our digitalization strategy because they are our face to the customer. We invested significantly in the last three years developing digital assets that enable the agent channel to compete in that digital arena. For example, in 2012, Allianz Italy was the first traditional company in the Italian market to launch Motor Fast Quote. This is a very simple and disruptive idea to allow our potential clients to get a quote anytime, anywhere with just two data. The birth date, and the car license plate number. This is a real example of convenient multi-access services creating an attractive values position for both. The prospects who conveniently obtain a quotation in real time and for the agents who benefit from an increased flow of prospects. Another example, for our agents we developed the digital agency a new digital by default business model that we designed around three principles. Paperless, mobility, and lean processes. With the digital agency, we intended to increase the commercial effectiveness of our agents and to reduce the administrative workload. And first adopters have shown productivity increases up to 40% while administrative activities decreased by 20%. In 2014-15, we rolled out that digital agency to our network with a positive agent's feedback on the migration. That's rare. Continuous collaboration with agents during the design, implementation and rollout was key to achieve a positive result of acceptance, which is effective change management. Speaking of customer centricity and real digital products, I need to mention Allianz One and Allianz One Business. Our innovative modular offers for the Italian families and small commercials. Now these products are based on a new modular architecture that allows us to move from a vertical cover of the risks in a single line of business to a 360 degree cover of all major risks. The customer can personalize the product online or with the help of the agents by choosing different insurance models and customizing them to her or his individual needs with a real-time feedback on the price changes. The premium is conveniently paid in monthly installments. Thus, Allianz One and Allianz One Business offer a subscription to the peace of mind, super tailored to the individual customer's needs. So far, the product received a very positive feedback by the customers with 240,000 families in two years and more than 9,000 enterprises in three months who have already subscribed. Thanks to the innovative processes and tools, Allianz One is also the first insurance product patented in Italy. Gina Lloyd, our direct company, is a key element of our multi-channel and digital strategy and one of our major growth engines in Italy. Also in this channel, we are generating continuous innovation that can be adapted and transferred to the agent channel or shared as digital assets with Allianz Group and other Allianz operating entities. Gina Lloyd is the number one in the Italian market, direct, with a double-digit growth in the last five years, and on average, they earned every year 50 million of profit. Even in this modern channel, we innovate constantly, and last year we launched Gina Click, an offer dedicated to customers willing to use only digital web interaction 
to communicate with the company. This new growth engine generated quasi 70,000 new contracts in six months. Now, these were some examples of digital, innovative and customer-centric assets that we have developed in Allianz Italy definitely to win in the digital arena. You are surely invested, interested in what are the next challenges to exploit the new opportunities that digital will offer. Number one, <clears throat> Internet of Things will open up opportunities in both motor and the non-motor markets. The number of cars with black box in Italy passed from 1.2 million in 2012 to 3.4 million in 2015. This number is foreseen to grow by a factor of three in the next five years reaching almost 10 million by 2020. Now, this fast-growing number of connected cars will give further strong momentum to the development of motor telematic services such as pay how you drive tariffs based on the customer's driving behavior and additional high-value added services. In non-motor, the Internet of Things will generate interesting applications in the field of home insurance, e-health, and caring and monitoring services for elderly and children. Number two, big data and analytics will be another major force transforming our industry in the next years. It is becoming a mainstream innovation topic. 90% of insurance CEOs worldwide consider big data as a driver for high value creation and 63% of the insurers have already deployed or are piloting these levers. Big data is fundamentally changing the paradigm of how information is managed and business decisions taken. Specific opportunities for insurers are, for example, obtaining better customer risk profiling, increasing customer loyalty and cross-selling, enhancement of fraud detection, and deployment of real-time multi-channel analytics. The leitmotif of my speech today is winning in the digital arena. Let us derive from the mega trends and the best practice cases I introduced, the decisive principles of what is key to digital leadership. Firstly, one has to have the right vision and mission. Let me cite Allianz Group Vision. We want to be the most trusted financial institution that can be achieved by reinforcing the key drivers in our trust. Integrity, competence and resilience. Integrity means that we want to deliver best value for our customers while respecting all the key stakeholders. Competence means to deliver superior customer experience, to be front-runner in innovation and to become the digital company. And resilience means that we deliver and perform even in tough market environments. The second principle of success is to acknowledge that anticipation of future trends and innovation is surely fundamental, but not enough. You have to innovate and with the same importance to scale innovation. Innovation and scaling is the ability you find in digital winners. Scaling requires strong execution skills, strong communication skills to convince people because adopting innovation is real change management. Now the third ingredient for digital leadership besides innovation and the ability to scale is the time dimension. Today you have to innovate and to scale quickly. Why is time so decisive? Because the cycles of innovation, implementation and let me call harvesting are shorter and shorter. You have probably all studied the so-called adoption curve, 
which is represented in textbook with a beautiful Gaussian shape. Today, the adoption curve is much more squeezed, which means the innovation ramps up fast, adoption time is short, and the competitive advantage vanishes earlier. This is why time is decisive. <clears throat> the fourth success factor is going along with the customer centricity and is what I call the aesthetics of digital. The digital world is not anymore a cold world only inhabited by computer science experts and by people building the first personal computer at night in a garage in Palo Alto. Digital has become a world of lifestyle. Digital winners put the customer at the center of their strategy, providing them with an aesthetically superior offer or product. This engages the customer's emotional dimension, which is increasingly decisive for loyalty and satisfaction. The aesthetics of digital is becoming a key element to win in the digital arena, and Italy has a strong tradition in aesthetics with its long history full of world-famous artists in the fields of painting, music, and design. And you, who were born or have lived the Italian culture, have a strong advantage in this field. Are you ready to win in the digital arena after all these insights? I hope for this answer. Still, I would like to share one more belief from my professional life. People are the most important asset in every company. For this reason, in Allianz Italy, people are the solid foundation on which strategy is built, and we have reinforced our culture with an approach based on inclusive meritocracy, where people and performance matter. I personally spend a good portion of my working time developing leadership skills of our people and in this fast changing environment I've learned that people want to feel empowered in this change, not just being acted upon. Another belief in this context, cultural differences can enrich an organization. Superior teams are often diverse in terms of gender, nationality, and background. In fact, several studies show that companies with highest diversity outperform markets. All in all, people make the difference. One of the biggest challenges ahead is to attract and to retain best talents. And I can tell you, inclusive meritocracy approach will allow us to succeed. My speech has now come to an end and let me conclude with a wish. I hope that this outstanding and enriching experience which you have gained with this master will strongly contribute to your personal and professional development starting already from tomorrow. And I would also like to thank again the eminent professors represented by the Dean Vladimir Nanut and this prestigious School of Management for their great job contributing to society throughout the development of high potential talents who represent the future generation of managers. Today is a day of celebration for you, your families and the people close to you who have come along to share this very special moment with you. On behalf of Allianz Italy, congratulations for this great achievement and I wish you all the best for your future rich career. Thank you very much.